Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Desoreca. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about what who you don't see coming and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. I hope you are well. This reading is uh, guided by spirit as all of my readings and they always pick my decks and this one is going the way that anything that shows up at the bottom is your current energy and whatever is flying out is what you don't see coming. So we'll go just think about your current situation and let's see what is showing up. Okay, that was quick. The bottom of the deck is protection number 24. So Virgo, it is protection by your spirit team. You uh, got to a point in your love connection, could be also financially in other, and in other ways in your life, where you dare to show who you are and you dare to be vulnerable. 24. 2 plus 4 is connecting with your heart. Underneath that, another six. Three plus three. Blossoming. Again, connecting with your heart. Living your joy, your happiness, your hobbies, your work is something you love doing. Um, so this number six is a very beautiful energy. And um, you are finding your feet. You understand more about who you are. And we also have the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance with self-love again at the bottom. So we've got six in three different ways, protection, blossoming and self-love and the sun dancers with number five. But there is this joy, this dance of life, abundance. So you are in a very beautiful vibration, a very beautiful place, Virgo. And um, Spirit is saying, well done. You are amazing. You <clears throat> possibly had a very difficult journey leading you here, but you have done it. And uh, now you can celebrate. This celebration, this number five energy brings change. It's a shift. Right now, it's a very positive one. Okay, so this is the energy you are in. Now, let's see what you don't see coming. That is the void. It is like a new moon time. We are heading towards the full moon right now. And uh, to be honest, by the time you will get this reading, we will be over the full moon. So... This number one energy is showing that suddenly you will need to shift your attention within yourself. And you are going to find um, something within that you have not mastered yet or you uh, feel is missing from your life. So what you have right now is contentment, joy, self-love, happiness in a certain way. But what you don't see coming is this void. And this void is uh, bringing up things within you, which are unexpected. So we've got beginnings number two attraction number 44 and the spirit whisperer divine guidance higher knowing number three energy so that change that 32 the sun dancers is right here divinely guided to a new beginning and that is attraction it is law of attraction and attraction of two people, four and four. Okay. So what you don't see coming 
is some divine, I would say intervention, divine intervention that brings you this brand new beginning. Two plus eight is ten. A brand new cycle. You are shifting higher to a higher timeline. Yeah, so what you don't see coming is this place of joy and uh, vulnerability and self-love is uh, shifting your energy higher. Yeah, it's very nice, Virgo. Let's see more about this void that you don't see coming. The call. Okay, so this is uh, some kind of spiritual call. Could be towards your passion in work, in a service, and also could be in love. And um, the word, so we've got the call and the word. These are the last two major arcana cards. So you definitely are completing something here and re reaping the rewards for that. Interesting. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. And you are, um, this Five of Cups energy, you are grieving something here, letting go of something that did not work out for you. So we are on this void energy. Now let's clarify the spirit whisperer, this higher knowing, this divine guidance, the dog star. So... I feel that you surrendered in a love connection. And the moment you do that, Spirit says, says okay, so let's see um, on this higher level what is available to you. So what is this beginning about? This is a King of Pentacles. Who means a lot to you? Happiness to you. But you let this go. You surrender this. What is the attraction? What is this energy of attraction? Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Wow. So... Spirit is bringing this intervention, this divine guidance that you and this person who have, a, the two of you have this mutual love connection can have a more fulfilling relationship. But you don't know how to achieve that. Eight of Swords. So what this whole thing is about, what you don't see coming, is you reached an amazing place where you are feeling happy and content and joyful, and then suddenly you look within and you start to realize that um, not everything um, is tied, you know, like not all of your... Um, situations are sorted so you let that go and then spirit says but there is a new beginning available because this is what you wanted so your person also is very happy with you and at least spirit is bringing this to you to contemplate on this what if there was a new beginning with this person how would that feel for you? You could be also dealing with an Aquarius and a Leo here. Okay. So what we need to know now 
is what is happiness because you are happy and content in a way but this person makes you happier ace of swords with the seven of wands and the four of cups at the bottom so you realize that you are in a defensive situation and uh, you got rejected by this person so i feel that spirit is not trying to push the two of you to come together but more for, for sorry for some of you that could be the case but for the majority of you it's like yes this person you believe can bring you more happiness or you can be happier with when you are with this person but is this true because spirit is showing you that right now you are really protecting yourself from this person because they rejected you and you thought they were everything you ever wished for yet they left you hanging and now you feel that it's over and you are standing in your empress energy so Virgo this is very powerful you reach the point energetically where you are now stable with or without that person it can be your twin flame or not whoever that is in the past really rocked your boat you could not balance your energy without that person and now spirit is showing you look how strong you are and how amazing you are because they left you we've got the four of cups the rejection the five of pentacles abandonment the five of swords feeling that it's over yet you stand tall in your power i am still standing that's what i am hearing from spirit i am still standing okay so tell me more about this Yeah, Queen of uh, Wands and the Knight of Wands. So this is what you see very clearly. That your person could be younger than you are. And also they are coming to play. And you want more than just playing. So Spirit really is asking to connect with your emotions. Feel it out. What do you truly feel? You are missing them. You want them, but you want them uh, for more than just playing. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please. Knight of Pentacles and the uh, Knight of Swords. So your person is definitely, definitely immature uh, or less mature than you are. And um, they are trying to catch up with you, trying to run after you. They are not giving up on you. But Spirit is asking you to focus on yourself. How do you feel? And you know that they abandoned you, they rejected you, they left you hanging. And you are like, I'm cool with that. I'm not happy about it, but I can see it. I can see that they want to play. I don't just want to play. I want more than that. And um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You are breaking away from them. And you can stand in your power. You are standing in your power. You are the Empress. So you could be dealing with a Libra or Pisces here as well okay so to sum it up what you don't see coming is spirit is guiding you to realize that this cycle <clears throat> is ending in a different way now you are not um, being uh, pushed everywhere by your person 
you are standing your ground, you know what you want, you see the situation and your person for what it is and for who they are. So there is no more illusion on your side. And uh, this is why Spirit is showing the beginnings and the attraction 2 plus 8 is 10, that you may finally be able to close this down and uh, say, if you really want this, then let's do it. But I am not available for a play only. Well, this is what I have for you, Virgo. I am going to continue this in the extended. There is a one-off link in the description box if you would like just that. Or if you feel like uh, joining Patreon, then uh, you would be very welcome there. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Please check out my website, spiritual-wonders.com, and my brand new edition of my Oracle decks. Take care. Bye for now.